break the wagon off. Without your warning, we'd have all been killed. I was fortunate to stop my brother, Chief Running Deer, from leading our people on a false warpath. Chief Running Deer is waiting your peace sign, General. You've made a mistake, Running Deer. These soldiers want to be your friends. We did not seek war, but now friends have become enemies. Speaks the truth, General. We're still your friends, as well as White Eagle. The government wants peace through the Indians above all else. Then we go to my village, there we can talk and decide peace or war. Better follow his advice. Very well. I'll take my men and follow you. Thank you, Janet. Oh, I beg your pardon. My fault. Oh, oh. None of those letters are addressed to you, Mr. Pendleton. No offense, no offense. Just curious. I've been that way ever since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant sort of a fellow, ain't he? I'll bet you that he practices cussing himself out in the looking glass every morning before he sticks his snoot outside. You didn't raise here from the Indians for your help. Tell us what happened. Me talk only to Mr. Darnell. You'll talk to us and lie. Take your hand off that man. What are you trying to do? Well, Ronimo, what is it? White Eagle saved troops. Spoil everything. White Eagle? Cantor, you told me White Eagle was in jail at the trading post. But he was when I left there, but he must have escaped. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I can use what you've told me. Anyone see you come into town? No. Good. Don't let anyone see you go out. No. Go on. So, we're going to have peace, are we? Not if I can help it. What would you say if I got rid of Garden and put my own man in his place at the trading post? That'd be swell. Then you'd be able to start trouble all over again and end up owning the post in Black Butte Pass. Sometimes you show semblance of having intelligence. Thanks, boy. Ever see him? Why, well, sure, that's Gardner's assistant. How did you get this? I sent for it. I was suspicious of him. That ensures class cooperation after we've attended to Gardner and White Eagle. I've hired some men. They'll meet you at the trading post, Cantrell. They'll get results. Hey, we waited long enough. We want our money right now. Yeah. 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 Sorry, you fellas had to wait for your money, but Garden will pay you off now. Better get up to the office. Yeah. 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 Well, they're there. You know what to do, so get going and no slip ups. Now, we want our money. We waited long enough. Well, that's yeah, what you mean. There's no use getting excited. 
I'll get your money as quick as I get around to it. Now be patient. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. What are you going to do? Let us stall you all the time. What do you mean? Everything's ticking like clockwork. I'll give you the word as soon as trouble starts. Now that the fighting is really over and the general is on his way east, I guess you boys would like to get your money and celebrate. Sure. <laughs> well, Clark will check what we owe you and I'll pay. Uh, and you're pretty lucky at that. If it hadn't have been for White Eagle and the soldiers protecting this money, you would have had to wait until I got a new shipment. Well, <laughs> give me the keys to the vault. Yeah, there you are. Clark, did you take the strong box out of the vault? Certainly not. Then it's been stolen! Oh, oh, stolen! Don't give me that. We ain't taking no excuses. Mm -hmm. I, for one, want my money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is no time to argue. The money's gone. What we got to do is find out where it is. You mind if I look over the back of the vault? Uh, no, certainly not. Listen, man. Man, I'm sorry about this, but you'll have to wait. You say the money's stolen. It's my idea you're trying to get out of paying us. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I have no reason to hold your money. You'll get it as soon as it's found. It better be soon. We won't wait forever. Let's get outside and talk it over. You may get lucky and find it. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Getting that gold to Darnell now won't be any risk. Everybody's so excited, they'll never notice you're sneaking it to Coyote Springs. Take it away. Engine trouble. Pony Express murder. Stagecoach attack. And this. Those men know they're going to get paid. Somebody's inciting them into a riot. I claim Gardner and White Eagle are in this together. They got the money hid. They just don't want to pay us, that's all. You're right. I don't believe it. But if I did, I'd tell Gardner so to his face and not talk behind his back. You're right, partner. And that's just what I'm going to do. Right now. Yeah. Well, what about it? Will you please stay out of here? We'll tell you what we're able to do as soon as possible. That's not soon enough. I got money coming and I want it right now. Hey, you're not a trapper. I've never seen you before. Take a good look at him, mister. But you ain't gonna see him again. Well, what do you mean? You're not gonna get outside there and prove your innocence to those men. hidden somewhere in Coyote Springs. A careful search and I'm sure we'll find it. What makes you so sure? The two men I trail in town know where it is. Where are these men now? Lost trail of them is at town. <laughs> That's a good one. He lost them. I always hear him tell that Indians are always good at trailing. <laughs> oh, keep quiet, Grizzly. All right. I'm sorry I mentioned your proposition would indicate that some one of us is cooperating with these crooks. Now look, Darnell, White Eagle's not accusing anybody. He's only asking for our help. It'll touch you, ain't you, Darnell? Now, every building in this town is controlled by somebody in this room. If we want to search them, who's going to stop us? Well, you can search my place. I wish you would. I want no suspicion on me. Part of the missing gold is owed us merchants, and I can use my share. Oh, very well, gentlemen. It sounds all very silly to me, but if that's what you want, I won't object. 
But I insist that you search my place first. I want it over with before my shipments arrive so my schedule won't be disturbed. I don't care where we start, just so we start. Well, how about the bar? That's the biggest place in town. We'll start there. Good. That'll be just like a family reunion. Remember, White Eagle, we had a swell party there once. <laughs> that is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh. I hope this gun didn't murder anybody. It didn't. I guess we owe you plenty. Oh, you don't owe me anything. When I see a man intent on murder, I try to stop him on general principles. I guess you'd call that self-defense. Get over to the office. Take the storm box and... I watched him listening at the window. I knew you folks were inside. And when he raised his gun, I knew he was a bad one. So I stopped him. You weren't far wrong. He's one of the two men I followed into town. I'll just forget it. I'll take care of everything. White Eagle, that was a lucky escape. That shot was meant for you. It was evidently fired by one of the men you trailed into town. Yeah, I did it. If anybody wants me, they'll find me in the saloon. It certainly seems more convincing than ever that the gold is here. You've got to find it. We'll either find it or scare someone into giving us a lead to it. Sometimes I wish people around here scared easier. What do you want us to do, mister, to oblige you? Shed our skins like snakes every time a hot sun goes off? What? Scare yourself, mister, because we don't scare. Oh, we're wasting time listening to this old fool's drivel. Shall we go? Yes. While they're searching the morning finding nothing, we're getting this ready to move. Yeah. <clears throat> Then when they start coming up here, we move a nest to the barn. <laughs> Smart, eh? You said it. Well, here you are, gentlemen. It's all yours. I want you to search every corner of it. Thanks, Darnell. searched everywhere. There's nothing here. No. Well, gentlemen, if you're satisfied, we'll search my store next. Wait a minute. Where's Grizzly? Yeah! Look what I found! Look what I found! I found the nickel! Why did you? And I think... Might have been here a minute. All right, Pete, and take it easy. You will. Yeah. Now, Brace, we'll do a sneak for the barn. Hey, enough. Is this the westbound wagon? Why, yes, just in from uh, Crooked Bend. Why? Well, I was just thinking. Oh. Aren't you coming in? No, I'm going back to the barn. What for? We just came from there. I got a hunch, that's all. Gonna take me with you too? No, you stay here and keep your eye on them. Oh. Hurry up, Mark, and get that box open. We'll put the gold in this bag. That strong box is a dead. Hey, Pete. When you get that load out of town, take that box and drop it in the pothole. Quick sand will take care of it. Nobody will ever see it. I got you, Bob. Good as done. This is plenty heavy. What do you want to do with it? Throw it in the back end of the wagon. Put some hay over it. Nobody will ever suspect it being there. All right, Shane, cover it over. You sure you got your order straight? Sure, I know what to do. All right, on your way. Hold it! Going somewhere? Why, uh, uh, we're continuing west. With a little stop over here, huh? Yeah, we, uh... Oh, uh, seeing you fellas gives me an idea that gold's not far away. And being your wagon's loaded, I think I'll search it. Now get around here. Come on, move around. Peel out those guns and toss them away. Peel them out.
angry at each other. One of them's going to act. He did. Shot in the back. Now you're going to gaze at the lowest level of humanity. We wonder where they're taking him. You'll find out in the warning death night, the next amazing chapter of White Eagle.